Hi guys, welcome to day 89 of me creating good daily habits. I am on day 5 of the 30 day yoga challenge with yoga with Cassandra. Let's get to it. Yoga full body stretch. Not using any props today, so you're fine just the way you are. If you're new to this morning yoga movement, this is day five of a 30 day challenge that I have going on. You're welcome to just jump right in and do this video on its own, or if you want to, I would love for you to join us for the entire program. You can click the first link that's right below in the description box, or better yet, go watch the day zero introduction, uh, introduction video to this challenge to learn more about it. So a full body stretch, we are going to start this one lying down on our backs. And we'll start actually as you lay down, just pull your knees in towards your belly. Holding on wherever feels the best to you, just with a little bit of movement by rocking side to side. So a great thing about this morning yoga movement is that we use affirmations as a way to theme each of our practices and to really help set the tone for the day ahead. And our affirmation today is one of my own personal favorites that I've been using myself for years. And it's, I am a money magnet. So as you hold here throughout the practice and also just throughout your day, see what it feels like to repeat this to yourself a few times. I am a money magnet. And keep a hold of your knees, maybe widen them a little bit more so it's going more towards shoulders and armpits. And this might be enough or you can come into your happy baby pose, holding onto the soles of the feet, widening the knees. And again, you might just rock a little bit, getting deeper into the hips. Try to keep your tailbone pressing to the floor. Soften your shoulders, your neck, your head. So how would your day go if you operated on the belief that you are a money magnet. And that's really how we want to work with all of these affirmations. What would it look like if you believed this to be true for yourself? And carefully release your feet down to the floor and widen them towards the edges of your mat and you can just relax your arms. We're just gonna drop the knees down side to side and in a little windshield wiper motion. This is really great for your low back. Notice if there's any tension there that you need to be mindful of. Take about one more in each direction. And coming back to center, walk your feet in. Feet are hip width distance apart and just lift up into a little bridge pose. Squeeze your glutes, push into your heels and hug through your inner thighs as you lift up. Big belly breath. Exhale to roll all the way back down. And let's come all the way up. We're gonna go right away into our first downward facing dog. So you'll wanna have your hands shoulder width distance apart, feet on hip width distance apart. Tuck your toes under and lift your hips up and back. And just go ahead and alternate here as you paddle through your feet. Maybe swaying the hips, wagging the tail a little bit. Relaxing your head. And we'll find a ragdoll fold at the top of the mat. So walk your feet forward, keep them pretty wide. And you can bend your knees a lot, holding onto the elbows, swaying side to side. Just a nice way to decompress through the spine. Gentle traction. Release fingertips down to the floor, bend your knees generously, and roll all the way up, inch by inch. So from here, we're gonna come into a goddess stance. So you can widen your feet, and you wanna turn your heels in and your toes out, kind of pointing towards the top corners of your mat. As you inhale, reach out long through your arms. This is your star pose. And as you exhale, sink down into that goddess pose as you bend the elbows and bend the knees. And you're trying to squeeze your knees open. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink it down. One more. And exhale. 
and now holding here bring your hands to your thighs and drop your right shoulder down roll the left shoulder back a little twist here switching sides left shoulder down right shoulder back And now facing down towards the mat, bring your fingertips to the floor and bend into your right knee as you straighten the left leg, maybe flex the foot as you drop the hips down. Inhale, come all the way up and switch sides. Left knee bends, right leg is straight and go once more on each side. Skandasana, right knee bends. And left knee bends. Come all the way to center and turn your feet in so they're parallel towards the shorter edges of your mat. Wide-legged fold. You're welcome to hang out here with your arms down if you'd like to stretch into your shoulders and upper back. You're going to interlace your fingers and reach the knuckles up and over. Staying with your intention, with your affirmation. Slow, steady breaths in and out through your nose. And release your hands down towards the floor. Lift up, flat back. Bring your hands to your hips, push your feet into the floor and come all the way up. And we're gonna do warrior two, we'll do it on each side. So you can turn your left toes pointing forward towards the top of the mat and bend into your left knee as you open up your arms. So as you bend generously here, think of squeezing that left knee open. And we're just going to reverse right hand down, left arm up, big stretch. Back to your warrior two. Straighten that front leg, turn the left toes in, and we'll just do the same thing on the other side. So this time, turn the right toes out and bend into your right knee. Trying to keep your shoulders over your hips. Reverse, left hand down, right arm up. Keeping that deep bend in your front knee. Warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Bring the toes in. We're gonna come back into our wide-legged fold. So come all the way down. Walk your hands towards your right foot. Fold in a little deeper. Hold on to whatever you can here. Switch sides, walk your hands over to the left foot, hold on and hug it in. Coming all the way back through to center, lift up halfway, hands onto your hips, push your feet into the floor, come all the way up just look to the top of the mat so you can step up and we'll take a little flow from here feet are hip width distance apart inhale arms rise exhale fall down release halfway lift flat back plant your palms plank pose exhale to lower inhale cobra or upward dog and let's find a wide like a child's pose big toes together and knees apart press your hips towards your heels and take a few breaths here i'm just noticing already how the sequence feels in your body where you feel it most walk our hands in, lift your chest, and you bring your legs out in front of you. We'll come into a passive forward fold. So no strength necessary here. We're not pushing and pulling. So you probably won't be going as far as you would if you were to engage the muscles. It's just a different way of doing the pose. You can turn your palms to face up and just let yourself naturally round. 
It's a really wonderful way to stretch the entire posterior chain of muscles. So everything along the back side of your body, from the crown of your head, down your spine, down the legs, into the soles of your feet. A really wonderful stretch to do in the morning. Push into your hands, roll back up. Before we close, let's take a little twist here. Bend your right knee, cross your right foot over your thigh. And you can open up into a little twist, hugging that thigh in close. And really think of lengthening and growing a little taller. Unwind and switch sides. Left leg in, left foot crosses over. Hug onto that leg as you open up. Let's release, shake it out. Come to take a seat. Any way that's comfortable, roll your shoulders down and away from your ears, really feeling the shifts that have occurred as a result of this time you've dedicated to yourself and your practice. Join your hands at your heart. Anchor in your intention, this affirmation, I am a money magnet. Feel it in. And we'll close with a big breath in through the nose, out the mouth. <sighs> Bowing forward. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much, Yogi. Thank you, Cassandra, for on this day five of my 30 day yoga movement. It's lovely. Some new stretches again. I feel it. It's been good. Thank you so much. All right, guys.